good morning. We are nearing the end of our annual conference session of the Baltimore Washington Conference. We've been spending this morning celebrating our young people's ministry across the conference. Uh, we've been uh, spending our time here at the Baltimore Marriott Waterfront, uh, and it's uh, Baltimore has just been a wonderful place uh, to gather for annual conference. Uh, folks have enjoyed getting around the harbor. Uh, we've had a lot of people out running and enjoying this space and this city enjoying the restaurants and, and all that the city has to offer. So we certainly want to extend our gratitude to the city and people of Baltimore for a wonderful annual conference session here. We have had a powerful morning uh, uh, celebrating our young people's ministry. Even as I speak, uh, there are learning labs, workshops happening where people can learn about different aspects of ministry with young people, uh, ministry with young people with disabilities, uh, uh, questions around mental health, work, how to start a young people's and youth ministry in your local church. Uh, and so all of that, uh, all of that work is, uh, is, is going on now. This morning, our youth led us in powerful worship. Uh, we had drama and dance and spoken word and, and did music, so much wonderful music. Uh, it was just incredible. Our young people, our youth and our young adults, uh, their, their passion and uh, their, uh, their, just commitment and confidence as they led and worship their wisdom uh, was was just incredible and was on display uh, throughout our our time this morning one of the most powerful moments we had was when uh, the young people invited the bishop up on stage and i don't think she she didn't know what was coming and they circled around her and prayed over her and oh it was so powerful uh, so powerful and, uh, and honestly, I think humbling for us adults to see our young people stepping up to support our Episcopal leader in this, uh, in this difficult time, uh, not only for uh, our denomination, but also as she and her family have had kind of uh, uh, some upheaval. We know as we voted on the, the need to get a new Episcopal residence, um, just it's, it's no doubt been a, a challenging season for our bishop. So, so humbled and proud of our young people uh, for praying over her. Also, we heard from Mark DeVries, who's been working with our Young People's Ministry as a consultant, and uh, he brought a lot of humor and wisdom to his presentation. One of the things that, that he asked, he said, he asked us, he said, when, when is the best time to plant an oak tree? And the response, 500 years ago, when's the second best time to plant an oak tree? Today. And he used that to help us think about in youth ministry uh, that that today is a good day to start or to begin rebuilding a ministry with young people in our local churches. And so this really is a, co a commitment of our annual conference, of our bishop and of our uh, director of Connectional Ministries, Christy Latona, and our uh, entire conference leadership uh, to be rebuilding our conference youth and young adult ministries in, in more vital ways uh, in general and also as part of our restructuring. Uh, but also to, to recognize that our young people are indeed not the church of only the church of the future, but the church of today. And so it is wonderful to be able to devote this time today uh, to having them lead us in worship, not talking about youth and young adults, but having them, uh, having them teach us and having them be an important part of the annual conference. So as the learning labs are going on now, as they, as they close, as they finish up, we'll be going into the lunch break. And then at two o'clock, uh, we're scheduled to have our very last event as part of the annual conference session, and that's a confirmation celebration. Uh, that's going to be live streamed, as have uh, as has uh, pretty much all of our annual conference. So if you're not here with us in person, I hope you'll join us online. And then I'll post one more video, uh, one more wrap-up video. And I just want to thank those of you who have tuned in. It has been an honor to be uh, walking through this annual conference with you, and uh, we look forward to uh, to many wonderful conferences ahead.